What's up guys, Technic here. And today we are gonna be focusing on charging. And we're gonna be focusing once again on this guy, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, because it is by far one of the best smartphones that 2022 has to offer in terms of heavy hitting specifications, not to mention incredible camera performance, and of course, long lasting battery life, like we saw in my recent battery drain test, where it actually beat the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which has a larger battery capacity, though it did lose against the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which has a smaller battery capacity. But today is all about charging, so let's focus on that, since this guy is packed to the brim with great charging equipment, and obviously, as long as your phone can last, it doesn't really matter if it can't charge up quick enough. So it's gonna be going up against its greatest rivals in terms of price segments, that being the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and iPhone 13 Pro Max in this zero to 100% battery charging speed test. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra boasts a 4,860 milliamp hour battery and 67 watt charging, which is the same maximum wattage we saw on the Mi 11 Ultra before it, but quite a lot lower than even the Xiaomi 12 Pro, which we saw earlier on this year with 120 watts, or even a two-year-old phone, that being its predecessor's predecessor, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra, which also boasted 120 watt charging. There is unfortunately no boost charging here either this time around within the options menu. However, there is still the Surge P1 charging chip to prevent overcharging. And yes, the 67 watt charging brick does indeed come bundled in the box. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has a larger battery when compared to the Xiaomi at 5,000 milliamps, but has slower 45 watt charging, which is actually a step up from last year's S21 Ultra's 25 watt charging, but do bear in mind that if you do want this 45 watt brick, it is indeed sold separately. The iPhone 13 Pro Max houses the smallest battery of the lot here at just 4,352 milliamps and has the slowest charging at only 27 watts. However, this is also a step up from its predecessor, which sat at 20 watts, though do bear in mind if you want to achieve 27 watt wire charging with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you are unfortunately going to have to purchase the official Apple 30 watt power adapter. Which device is going to come out on top of this zero to 100% battery charging speed test? And possibly more importantly, which one is gonna stay the coolest throughout the test? This is Tech Nick, and without further ado, let's find out. Before we get things going, it is worth checking the temperature. They've all been sitting idle for the last couple hours or so, and they're all sitting at 0% battery life. They're all around a room temperature of about 23, 24 degrees in Celsius, and kickstarting the test off, making sure all phones do get powered on, since that's how most people actually charge their phones in real life. We do have optimized charging disabled on all smartphones over here, as well as enabling the fast charging options that we have within the Samsung. After five minutes, we have 17% on the Xiaomi, 13 on the Samsung, not too far behind, 10% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max with just 27 watt charging. And the Xiaomi has been the hottest so far and the iPhone has been the coolest. Just to let you guys know at the top right-hand corner, we do have the time interval. And on the left of that, we do have the temperatures which are in relation to that time interval and the battery percentages above each device below the branding of that device is also in relation to that time interval. So keep an eye out on that time interval. After 10 minutes, we have the highest being 35% on the Xiaomi, still the hottest and the coolest is still the iPhone. And after 15 minutes, we now have 48% on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, 35 on the Samsung and 27 on the iPhone with the iPhone still the coolest here with the interval of 39.3 degrees in Celsius and the Xiaomi the hottest at 50.4 degrees in Celsius. When will they learn? Moving on to that 30 minute mark interval, but just keeping in mind that the Samsung is pretty much in the middle of the two in terms of percentage as well as temperature and hitting that 30 minute mark interval, we have 85% on the Xiaomi after just 30 minutes, which is ridiculous, but it did reach its absolute peak here, 51 degrees, which is mental, 47.7 degrees, which is actually not that far behind, is the coolest of the test, that being the iPhone, sitting at 54%, 69% on the Samsung, not too far off the Xiaomi, I must add, but after just 43 minutes, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra says, all right guys, well, you enjoy continuing the race, but I am done. I've gotten the gold medal, I've gotten the crown, and I did it. 
with an end temp of 42.8 degrees in Celsius, which is mm, better than previous Xiaomi flagships for sure. After 45 minutes, we have 89% on the Samsung, 73 on the iPhone. The iPhone was actually hotter than the Samsung in that last interval and reaching that one hour mark interval. Can the Samsung do it before the one hour ends? No, it cannot. Sitting at 98% of a year in my previous Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra charging test, it did it in around 57 minutes. The iPhone did it in about an hour and a half and the Samsung just hit 100% in an hour and two minutes which is not too far off, five minutes longer. The phone I've had for about maybe six or seven months now, so it's not terrible, though it didn't have as good a percentage per minute charge up or milliamp hour per minute charge when compared to the Xiaomi. But you've got to bear in mind, it does have a bigger battery and it also has slower 45 watt charging. The iPhone is sitting at 92% after an hour and 15 minutes, still with its peak of 47.7 degrees in Celsius, 97% now after an hour and 30 minutes, so pretty close to the last time I tested out about six months ago with an hour and a half charging time. This is on 97%. How long is that last 3% gonna take here? We're reaching an hour and 45 minutes and it's on 99%. So that was 15 minutes just for 2%. iPhones tend to slow down after around 80, 90% so that they can cool down. So let's see what's happening over here. As you can see, we're on 27 degrees Celsius and after an hour and 51 minutes, it actually knocks off and says, okay, I'm done 21 minutes longer than the last time I tested it out, but it is a bit cooler too at 27.5 degrees in Celsius. So the iPhone does charge slower, a hell of a lot slower. Actually, the Xiaomi got 43 minutes. The Samsung Samsung got an hour and two minutes and the iPhone got longer than both of those two combined, which is just ridiculous. Third place, it's the iPhone 13 Pro Max with an hour and 51 minutes. That is just ridiculous because of that slower 27 watt charging and 4,352 milliamp hour battery. But the Samsung has a much larger battery, though it does have faster 45 watt charging to boost up that 5,000 milliamp hour battery in just an hour and two minutes coming out in second place. First place is still the crown of most my charging tests, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, the ultimate Xiaomi device ever. 67 watt charging, 4,860 milliamp hour battery, 43 minutes flat. So I know what you're saying. Okay, the Xiaomi did well and it did beat the iPhone and the Samsung, but it didn't do as well as its predecessors have done in the past. That being the Mi 10 Ultra, which is a phone that is two years old now that did it in 28 minutes because that had 120 watt charging. And the Mi 11 Ultra had a larger battery of 5,000 milliamps and the same 67 watt charging and it actually did it faster in 35 minutes. So honestly, the most ultimate flagship Xiaomi device, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, is not outdoing any of its predecessors in terms of charging speed. The Samsung, however, is beating its older brother, the S21 Ultra, which had the same size battery cell, but much slower 25 watt charging. But we'll forgive it for that because there's this whole debacle that Samsung's 25 watt charging and 45 watt charging only really speeds up the middle section a little bit, but the end and the start doesn't really change too much. So we'll have to forgive it for only beating the S21 Ultra with 20 watt less charging by only four minutes. That did in an hour and six minutes, this did in an hour and two minutes, and its predecessor's predecessor, the S20 Ultra, that in an hour and 11 minutes. So there is a bit of an improvement over there. When it comes to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it got an hour and 45 minutes, which is actually better than this score that we saw here over an hour and 51 minutes on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And that is because this time we have the largest battery that we've ever seen in iPhone history. But it did indeed beat the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which got an hour and 58 minutes, and that has a significantly smaller battery capacity at 3,969 milliamp hours. But when you look overall, like I mentioned earlier, at the iPhone, the iPhone stayed the coolest throughout the test. It had the coolest peak of 47.7 degrees in Celsius, and it had the coolest end at 27.5 degrees in Celsius. The Samsung wasn't too far off that end temp of 33.5 degrees in Celsius, but the Xiaomi was by far ahead with 42.8 degrees in Celsius, reaching a peak of 51 degrees in Celsius. But once again, the Samsung not too far behind that, reaching a peak of 50.1 degrees in Celsius with much slower charging. I hope that you guys really did benefit from this video and learned a thing or two as well. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.